Hi, Shreya. Hi, CD. Hi. So um, let me start by congratulating you again, right, uh, for your offer from McKinsey. Um, it's been a couple of days now, so um, have you meanwhile uh, settled on the realization that you will be soon uh, doing project work for McKinsey? Not so much. <laughs> it, feels, <laughs> it feels really amazing. I had this goal for a long time. I'm super excited. Um, I still can't believe it's real, but yeah, very excited. <laughs> cool. So, um, I mean, before we, we go into the details and talk about um, how you developed uh, towards becoming really offer ready uh, in the course of your preparation, um, could you maybe start by sharing a bit uh, about how you started considering yeah, professional coaching and what was it that made you really take the decision to, to reach out to me at the time? Yeah, so there's actually three three factors. Of course, of course. <laughs> uh, the first one is that I come from an academic background, so I haven't taken any business classes, read any book, other than just generally being interested in what goes on in the world. The second one is that I was working under quite a tight time constraint. So I was juggling a very busy semester, trying to finish my PhD, training for a marathon, et cetera, et cetera, a lot of life things going on. So I wanted to maximize efficiency and, and my chances. Yeah. And the third is I know that it's competitive generally, and I want to make sure that I was not building any wrong habits from the beginning. So these are the reasons why I was like, I need some coaching, or I want to put all yeah. the chances on my side. And of course, when you Google consulting prep, there's a lot out there. You get flooded with ads everywhere. I did consider two or three platforms. Um, and then after talking to you, I felt like you were very serious <laughs> mm -hmm. and rigorous. And you gave very direct feedback, which I think is critical to have good improvement. And uh, and you also set up you know, the expectations very clearly and directly i really thought that was nice and so yeah. that's why i decided to go with you um another little aspect is that i think that you had some concrete feedback on your platform so it made it more real yeah uh, which is also more appealing yeah 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 Awesome. Cool. So, I mean, now if you uh, reflect back on uh, where you were when we started uh, with the coaching program, right? And uh, then the development path that you took during our preparation. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, what uh, was the most significant change that fueled your success? What would you say? Any aspect that you would single out? Yeah, I had to think about this, actually. Hmm. Um, where I was when we started, it was the blank sheet. <laughs> I had <laughs> never done a single case. Yeah. I was quite intimidated, I'll say. I think it takes time to digest the structures and the way of thinking. Um, and then it's really cool because along the process, you realize it's something that's inherent and you do it naturally without even thinking, which is great. Um, I do think it's possible to learn the tricks in six weeks, but I needed more time. Yeah. Uh, and I do recommend that if possible and if needed. Um, yeah, my timeline was a bit different because of work duties and I got that advice from you that if you're not ready, yeah. don't do it. You know, yeah. take your time, push it, there's a harm in it. That was really great. So thanks for that. Uh, and then I had a time to take time to take a break and digest everything. And mm -hmm. that was great because that gave me more confidence. So when I was doing my cases, I was taking my time, uh, incorporating the feedback and doing things step by step. So yeah. I think that was great. The case become became more of a holistic, you know, story rather than just, oh, I'm passing the first structure, first thing done, second yeah. thing brainstorming done, exhibit yeah. done. No, it was just more of a story that was really good. And I would say, last but not least, it's really important, at least for me, it helped for success to see this as a game. Uh, a fun game, not just like an exercise I need to sit through. So casing yeah. became like a break from work and yeah. I really was happy to meet new people. So that was great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Awesome. Um, uh, the la especially the last uh, point that you mentioned, right? Meeting new people, because this is one of the particularly cool aspects of the program, I believe that, um, of course, after having established some basic principles, right, that the foundation is laid, then uh, my mentees usually uh, can practice with each other, right? And uh, Contrary to normal candidates that you usually find on the internet uh, or on specific platforms, here you have the possibility to really um, also 
practice with a pretty hand-picked set of, of people because as you know I'm vetting my candidates <laughs> um, and um, so uh, that you can also practice with people who have been coached on the same principles and you can then avoid getting yeah, a lot of bullshit feedback <laughs> from people that you find somewhere uh, uh, randomly on the internet. So, I mean, if you reflect back on that specific aspect, um, which role did that play in your preparation? So, so important. Seriously, uh, yeah. So I, I started initially practicing with a handful of your mentees mm -hmm. and also a few other people that I had met via the BCG Bridge and the McKinsey Insight program. And so yeah. there were two parts of my practice. Initially, it was tense in time. Uh, but it was really great and key because I learned a lot from some mentees that had been working with you uh, for a while. Mm -hmm. And I got to apply that with the non-mentees <laughs> and then compare mm -hmm. the results, uh, yeah. which was great because I you know, was able to see the different feedback and then incorporate some of it, but really gain confidence that what I was doing was good, you know, <laughs> and it was the right way of thinking as well. Yeah. And, and as I mentioned, it was really great because it's, a very helpful tool to adapt to whatever interviewer you're working with. And then mm -hmm. the second part of my practice, I only stuck to mentees because it was I just felt more comfortable. I felt I was getting more out of the session. Yeah. And I have to, of course, include all of them in our success. I feel like we gave each other a lot of time, positive mm -hmm. energy and support and feedback. And, and we had a vested interest in our mutual success. So that was great. Yes. I feel like um, some of them are friends and I hope to stay in touch with them. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Sounds amazing. Um, you will join McKinsey in New Jersey, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, which is funny because uh, um, uh, just uh, I think one day after your offer, uh, another another mentee also got an offer for the same for the same office. So uh, you will uh, become very close colleagues. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we practice together, so I'm super yes. happy about that. Yes, yes, yes. Cool. Um, talking a bit about um, the interviews that you had with McKinsey, I mean, how did you in general experience uh, the interactions uh, that you had with consultants during uh, during those those interviews? I mean, was it stressful or did it feel pretty relaxed? How, how would you describe it? Yeah, I think they were all really very friendly people. Um, overall, they're super chill during the interview. They all tried to make me feel as confident and comfortable as possible. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciated that. Um, they tried to make it feel more as an experience again, mm -hmm. rather than, oh, okay, we're doing an interview. They were all like, yeah. thank you for being here. I know this is a stressful day for you. If you need a break, go, you know, get a glass of water, etc. do whatever you need to, which is really great. Um, yeah. I think also the fact that we started with PI, Mm -hmm. was great because it made me feel more comfortable with the conversation uh, and reduce you know one's nerves and yeah. um yeah i think that was great um my interviewers put on a great poker face <laughs> because it was really <laughs> hard for me to read my, if my answers and my insights were you know what they would want to hear yeah but i will say my my interviews were more like a conversation uh, than an, just an exam and you know yeah. case solving it no yeah it yeah. was different yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and this is this is actually a very very important thing um, that people need to understand because this is something um, that can be seen again and again that people who show up in these interviews they are really you can you can you can really see it they behave like they're really walking into a room for having an exam right and this is uh, not the right mindset to have so um, I'm glad that you that you're also mentioning this um, so. How did you actually receive the good news then? I mean, did they make you wait a lot or uh, how, how did it happen? No, they didn't. I'm so thankful they didn't actually. <laughs> I waited for not even a handful of hours, um, which felt like an eternity to be honest. But yeah. yeah, I got the call the same day, just a couple of hours after my, my third interview. Mm -hmm. And um, they were really nice, told me they were super happy to, my, my interviewer called me. And yeah. she was super happy to extend the offer. Um, I asked her for feedback. She was like, no, everything was great. Was <laughs> Don't even worry about it, uh, which was really <laughs> nice of her. She was super, super nice. She, My interviewers were from the New York office. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I would be seeing them again, but they were great. Uh, they all reached out by email and told me if I have any questions, they're mm -hmm. happy to you know, help me out in the next couple of weeks or whenever. Yeah, super, super nice. And then 
I got the offer the next day in the morning. Yeah. So everything was super fast. Yeah, really nice. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, great. I mean, um, now uh, to 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 close our chat. Um, I mean, recruiting season is still ongoing, especially in North America. Um, so, what would you say? What is, if you could just condense it to one number one tip for someone who's just starting uh, her or his uh, preparation for McKinsey? What would it be? Uh, number one tip is super hard. Um, <laughs> I don't know that I have only one, but I have one sentence. <laughs> yes, take your time to prepare. Be confident and remember the feedback that you get. We have learned a structured way of thinking, and that's something that stays with you, even if you get stuck. So be confident, like you got this, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thanks. Well, Shreya, thanks a lot for this great uh, conversation. Congratulations again. I mean. As you know, you're entering a great organization, right? Uh, I know uh, McKinsey has also been your, your number one target. So uh, great achievement and very, very happy for you uh, that uh, it all found the, yeah, the, the optimal end. Um, so uh, do you already know when you will join? Mm, I would like to take a few months of break between my PhD and uh, the job, but I will be starting in the spring next year. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Well, uh, then, I mean, it's still a couple of months to go, uh, but let me already uh, wish you a great start at the firm. Um, carve out your way at the firm, right? Because this phrase of uh, making your own McKinsey is really uh, something that is that is real and it's not just a phrase. So, um, yeah, uh, congratulations again and all the best to you. Thanks, yeah, and 